Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the CH213, which is what we label here WCH as an ideal diode. So uh, the, the CH213 or our ideal diode is useful in mostly two scenarios. And the first one is reverse battery protection. Because a diode allows current to flow one way and the CH213 takes the properties of an ideal diode as close as possible, that means that there is little to no uh, reverse current and your circuits are well protected in case anything happens. And then the second use case uh, is also for overcurrent protection. So it can act uh, as sort of a fuse uh, on your load. So in case there are voltage spikes or uh, current spikes, then uh, you have a self-recovery fuse which doesn't uh, go out unlike a normal fuse. Now, the interesting thing here is that we can use, instead of using two separate uh, units for reverse battery and overcurrent protection, which is what makes it an ideal diode, because it can exhibit these two properties perfectly, it means that you can use the CH213 both at the same time for reverse battery and overcurrent protection. So that means that these two units can be replaced by the CH213. And uh, so instead of having two uh, units, you can have uh, a single one. And uh, it comes in mainly three packages. And uh, as you can see here, so we have the CH213K, which has one output and input. And then we have the 213B, which has two, and also the 213L. So as this table shows here, uh the ch213 is really more or less a combination of a scott key barrier diode plus a self recovery fuse but uh the voltage dropout is significantly lower as you can see uh what we are going to use i'm going to use a dc power supply to change the current and voltage and then i'm going to test the dropout voltage in each scenario for all three devices and then i'll make a comparison chart so that we can see which device, uh, which of the three setup is the most ideal. The ideal voltage, the diode plus the fuse or just the diode on its own. Now uh, I'll be changing the values, especially for the current, to see how the system manages uh, under different loads as I am doing now. And uh, we're going to be testing a maximum of uh, 1 amp and a minimum of uh, 50 uh, milliampers uh, and then we're going to see the corresponding dropout voltage from each of the three setups so uh, we, let's begin the experiment this is the board we are going to be using to test all three scenarios and determine which one is better so firstly we have the ideal diode the CH213 and uh, we're going to be connecting a power supply and the load on the other end. And then next we have the short Scottky diode plus a one amp fuse. Uh, and then we're going to be testing the dropout voltage between these two. And then lastly, we just have the diode. And then we're going to also be testing it. So it's going to be the same testing scenario for all three. Uh, we will input a target voltage and current, and then we'll place a load on the other end. And then we will see exactly what the dropout voltage is and uh, how each of these three systems work. Uh, so here uh, with this device, I am going to be simulating the load. Uh, as you can see, the when I change the motor, I can adjust the voltage and the current. And I'm going to be using uh, this device to actively change the load on the on the three systems, the the diode, the diode plus fuse and also the ideal diode, the CH213. And I'm going to be using it to notice how much dropout voltage after changing multiple values. So as this table shows here, uh, the CH213 is really more or less a combination of a Scott Key barrier diode plus a self-recovery fuse. But uh, the voltage dropout is significantly lower 
So a great example, if we compare the CH213 to a Scott key barrier plus a fuse and just a Scott key barrier, we can see that the CH213 has a significantly lower amount of dropout voltage. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this video. If you need any more details, please uh, put them in the comment section below. And for anything WCH related, make sure to contact uh, Patrick Yang on Twitter or you can email to us. We are more than happy to reply. That's it for this video. Bye.